In Kiev, riot police were on duty before the court proceedings began. About 2,000 supporters mixed with crowds of anti-Timoshenko demonstrators before and after the verdict. The reaction from one of her political colleagues was emphatic. The message is very clear. It is not just that Timoshenko should be freed, but also other members of her government. It is important, but it is not enough. Enough will be to let them freely take part in the elections, including the elections of 2012. The court prosecutor was equally forthright. Speaking after the sentence, she stressed the case against the former prime minister. The fact of the matter is that Timoshenko herself interfered in the Naftogaz company and the way it worked. She interfered in its business. She exceeded her powers. She had no right to give orders to make an agreement on gas supply with Russia's Gazprom company. The demonstration outside the court, which had been peaceful, turned ugly at one stage. It is reported police arrested eight people, while it's understood one person was injured. A media source in Kiev claimed the police used tear gas near the court. A correspondent says there was great disappointment here in Kiev after the verdict against Timoshenko had been announced. Now maybe the president and the parliament could change the law due to the international pressure and decriminalize the crime committed by Timoshenko, the crime for which she was convicted.